I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Now that NuGet has begun to roll out, it's a good time to review the many security enhancements included. Check out the post for info on direct boot and encryption, media stack and platform hardening, app security improvements, and more. We're now taking applications for the third class of the Launchpad Accelerator. If you're a late stage app startup from Brazil, India, Indonesia, or Mexico, check out this post. Applications are open until October 24th for the equity free program that begins in January and includes two weeks of all expense paid training at the new Google Developers Launchpad space in San Francisco. If you're about to launch a new holiday campaign, you could, for example, use TrueView ads on YouTube along with banner ads on the Google Display Network to drive brand awareness and more holiday sales. To make it easier for you to track and forecast the performance of these campaigns against your advertising goals, we're introducing campaign groups and performance targets. More info and a screenshot are on the post. Beginning with Chrome 56 in January of 2017, we'll mark HTTP sites that transmit passwords or credit cards as non-secure, as part of a long-term plan to mark all HTTP sites as non-secure. HTTPS is easier and cheaper than ever before. Check out the post for details on our upcoming change as well as setup guides to help you get started with HTTPS. Cloud Tools for PowerShell is a collection of commandlets for accessing and manipulating GCP resources. It's currently in beta and already allows access to Google Compute Engine, Google Cloud Storage, Google Cloud SQL, and Google Cloud DNS, with more to come. For more info on how to get started, check out the post. If you've been considering moving your web serving infrastructure to the cloud, our recently published Serving Websites Guide is for you. It covers static websites, virtual machines, containers, and managed platforms. For each, the guide provides information about scalability, load balancing, DevOps, logging and monitoring, and more. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.